Hey guys, it's Shagoon here with another short video from my Google Nexus One this time. And I mean, as a smartphone users, we all use our browser a lot. And to be honest, the standard Google browser may be fast, but UI wise and function wise, it just isn't the best. So I'll try to cover most of the uh, most popular third party browsers and as well some new one which might you see for the first time. First of all, I'm going to start with the Dolphin browser. So, the Dolphin browser uses very normal tab browsing, which means you got these tabs here, right here, you can switch between them, easily open a new one, let it load while you look at another one. Very special to this browser, <coughs> it's not a tab browsing, it's when you swipe, when you are on a web page, like let's go here, right here, and you just swipe to the left, you get your bookmarks, which means you can just press here and it will open it. If I go right here and go swipe again to the left, you can uh, tap right here to see your most viewed, tap another time and you just get your books marks again. So this is very nice, you also have easy multi-touch and double tap to zoom as well, just like Zen browser. And what's very nice about this browser as well is you have a lot of add-ons. Some of the add-ons I have, for example, is screen cut, which means I can save the screen to my SD card, as you see here. Oops, I also got the ability to save the screen as a PDF. These are just some of the many, many add-ons I've downloaded from the Android market, which are all free. Uh, you can also go full screen right here. So you got the whole screen with browsing. And what is very nice also you have a password manager which is for free so I'm on a web page where I have my password and I don't want it to enter it all the time so I just tap here look at my password profile and it auto fills it for me and I can easily log in let's go a quick look at the settings here more settings of course you have flash you can make it uh, enable it disable it or make it on demand and the standard settings as like clear cache and all that you expect from a browser. It's pretty basic. So this is the first one I'll try. Let's uh, look at another one. This one you might, you might not be familiar with. It's a pretty new one. And uh, this is after a fresh reboot except for the, the filler, uh, for the, uh, how's it called, the browser before. So you get the impression how long it takes to start the browser from new. Now what you see here is my bookmarks which I can flick through like that it's a very nice animation I can go to the left I get my history it's very smooth go to the left another time should work here no okay that's it history and bookmarks ah here we go scrap books whatever that is of course you can tap on one it will open a window as you see here tap another one opens another window, let's go here, open that one, opens another video, window, and so you can flick through the windows here you have opened, tap on them, and you get a full screen. Now you don't have multi-touch in here, which is pretty bad. Let's go, oops, flipped out. Let's go to the window view again, press here, and go, let's open here, and gadget, another time, Tap here. Let's go to the full side here. While this one is loading, let's have a look at this page here. Go to the full side here as well. Come on. <laughs> go to the window view again. So this is a very special and new interface. Of course, you can also search for any page you would like and just tap it in. Let's go back here again, again to the window view. And, well, uh, I like this animation very much and it's really smooth. A bit laggy sometimes, as you see here, because it's opening heavy website over here. But there are many tabs open, so let's go here to a gadget, which is almost finished loading. Scrolling is okay, no multi-touch, double tap to zoom works go back here another time. You also see right here, you can see how much windows you have open 
at which window you are and how much they are left to open. So this is a very nice special view. Let's go to settings right here. Uh, you can have flash, as you see, enable plugins, clear cache and all the basic stuff you would expect. Let's go back here. Let's take another, uh, the My UI browser is called Charming Browser, which is from the Chinese My UI. You can get it separate as an APK. I got it from the XDA Developers Forum. Now, it takes some time to load. As you see here, I loaded for the first time. Okay, and here you go. Okay, it's pretty Chinese, not yet fully translated. Let's go to some page right here, tab here. You see, you got also the tab browsing, full screen. You see here, it's loading. Looks like similar to a Palm Pre style somehow. You can go back, the back button. Let's go to music. Now let's go here to this page. I don't know what that is. Top sites, Microsoft. You see, it takes full screen with uh, not having the notification bar. I can scroll down and get the tab here. Slide my finger down, worked before, here we go, tab, can easily open new tab, take another top side here, BBC, here the loading, you can press here and it will launch the tabs, now I see, like that. Come on, let's go back to Microsoft, now here, and you got easily multi-touch zooming. It's a very nice and clean interface, I like that. Kind of similar to the Palm Pre. You can copy text, of course, as in the other browsers. Um, let's go to settings over here. Clear cache. Doesn't seem to have flash because there's no plugin possibility available. Well, that's a My UI browser. Very clean interface. Let's take another step at Opera Mobile. Takes also some time to load here. Okay, here we go, window view. Let's go to Facebook. And what is very nice here, you can press here on Windows and can like that easily open a new tab. BBC News. Let's go another window. Let's open this one right here. And another window. Let's open this one right here. So you can easily see your open windows and easily flick between them, which is very nice. Let's open some heavier page. In gadget, well, oh, I can't type here. Start a Google search. <laughs> Let's go to another tab here. You see, they have already opened, and you also have the possibility to directly enter a new address or just tap right a search at Google. Multi-touch available. Let's go to the settings right here by pressing this button. Downloads, bookmarks, you get a view right here. These you see on your start page when you open up the browser. Uh, settings. Doesn't seem to have a uh, flash either. As I see, you can enable to load pictures. Turbo, Opera, which basically is doesn't render the page on your phone, which means um, it sends the phone, it sends the browser, so you type in the message and it sends it to a server somewhere in the world. The server converts the page and sends it back to your phone. This Turbo is very good when you have a slow connection, so it can be faster than a standard Google browser. This is what Opera Mini operates. It has exactly, exactly the same interface as Opera Mobile, but it does the rendering on another server, which makes it's very very fast but the Opera Mini doesn't have any multi-touch. And Skyfire is same, uses also server based rendering. Let's have a quick look at the UI here. Accept. Next. 
you seem to, in this one you can see flash videos, but you cannot play flash games. You also have a window view, which looks like that. It's a new tab. Let's open here some page. Okay, back to window view. So it's quite choppy, not that smooth. You get multi-touch, and you can watch movies. Thanks for watching.